For the next 31 days, I want to take you all behind the scenes with me as I document my journey as a new first time mom. I really hope you all enjoy my transparency as I plan to share the good, the bad, and the ugly. So with that being said, let's jump right into the series and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, hey, so I don't know which vlog I'm going to use this for. This might be the start of a new vlog, so I could be saying welcome or I could be saying, hey, I decided to continue where I left off. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like I said, my vlogs are going to be real more spontaneous these days, but we got home from running to the doctor and then we had to run to Rite Aid because she said we needed to get vitamin D. Baby girl's getting a little antsy. I'm about to go get her out. But let me just show you this real quick because this is just so amazing to me. Like, I don't know why God favors me so much, but my milk supply is going crazy. This is one breast, okay? My hand's a little shaky, trying not to drop the phone. Um, yeah, crazy. So uh, it's actually going to get ready to pump again. This one's a little less than that last one but about the same so yeah insane insane y'all um there we go god is good i'm just i'm just grateful so i'm gonna go ahead and add that to the freezer and um get her out real quick and then um i was gonna pump again i need to soak my feet when I talk about swollen, my ankles and my feet, oh my gosh. And then I need to, I wanna, I've been trying to get to marinating my chicken thighs for the past three days. And I need to do it today because I don't wanna keep having them sit out. I know they're still good, but I don't like to leave my meat out for too long. But I'm gonna get baby girl out this car seat real quick because I know you're not supposed to keep them in for too long. And she might actually wanna eat. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch her over to the swing. So. Okay, just catching up with you guys. So after feeding baby girl and finally taking pictures to make like an announcement post for her arrival, which took forever, I'm finally getting to my chicken. So actually, I misspoke. I think this chicken hasn't been out for three days. I think tomorrow will make the third day. So I want to cook this actually tomorrow so it can like marinate overnight and get more flavor. These are the packs that I used. And I just, it's, um, I just split the chicken thighs into two different baggies. So there's like three chicken thighs in each bag. But um, this is actually me meal, prep me meal prepping for myself. Um, so this is not for the family. This is just a meal for me. So I just put the little three ingredients, or this one actually only required the two ingredients. This one required one extra, the apple cider vinegar. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that's gonna taste. I've had it before, but it's been a while. Um, I don't know about this one if I've had that, but I know for sure I've had this one. And then I'm gonna cook this tomorrow. I was gonna do it now, but I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow. This is actually getting kind of old, <laughs> but um, that's gonna be my meal prep dish. This pasta, asparagus, and chicken, and I may even add cornbread. So I'm just trying to be on more on top of things so that I don't have to go this extra mile to make meals for myself at least lunch maybe even a dinner if i decide but that's what i'm doing so i'm about to put this stuff back away and find something else to eat for tonight and then i'm gonna go take a nap because baby girl is asleep and i'm tired and it is 4 30 ish so that's where we are Good morning. It's still morning, barely. It's 11.40. I have had an interesting night, an interesting morning. Um, this is quite the transition. <sighs> okay, so I've been trying to make breakfast for maybe about two hours now. The oven is preheated. It's almost lunchtime, but it's okay. I've been hungry. Um, 
And I'm trying to make sure I eat because I want to keep my breast milk flowing. Um, I did pump this morning. It was probably four or five in the morning because they started to get a little sore. Um, she's, she's had me up. But then my husband, I woke him up and I just had him take over. So I did get some sleep, but um, I tried so hard to make her sleep through as long as she could and all the things, but it's a learning experience. I'm gonna make my breakfast today and then I'm gonna make my, my lunch meals that I prepped yesterday. And then I'm gonna try to get some things in order around the house. Just, you know, like maybe vacuuming and straightening up at just a few different areas that are kind of getting lived in. So today's vlog, you know, I won't be um, talking to you very much. I'm just mostly going to be um, doing what I'm doing, putting some audio behind my B-roll and we'll just go from there. Talking about my baby. My head. My head. I have a really big head. <laughs> hey, you guys, and welcome back. So, I do apologize. I know this vlog is a little choppy. Just hopefully, you guys will bear with me. Um, I, I've just been all over the place, but I'm adjusting to her schedule, so I'm doing the best I can. One thing I wanted to do in this video specifically is show you guys everything, all the goodies that they gave me at the hospital. And I thought that it'd just be good information for the expecting moms that are watching and even those that maybe aren't expecting, but you know, you might prepare to be trying to have a baby or something like that. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys all of the, it's mostly like um, hygiene care type of stuff. So I wanted to share that with you. So first I'll start with the underwear, which I thought were amazing. Um, they're disposable and they gave us like, I'll say like maybe 10, 10 disposable underwear to go. And so if I were you, 
well let me just go through this first and then i'll say that so i was trying not to use them all because um i wanted to make this video so i do have just a couple left but and they're actually comfortable honestly so it's good how stretchy they are because then they also give you these really huge diaper like pads and they're pretty big so you get these and um i only had to wear these for like the first two or three days um my flow is not heavy like that so but still good to have come back to that okay so then also you'll get well honestly no you don't actually get this i asked um they gave it to me while i was there and then i asked for a few more so that i could have some to go um now this is an ice pack so you just like pop it and then you put it in here and it gets cold for maybe I don't know I don't know maybe an hour yeah it doesn't stay cold super long but I, I want to say maybe an hour but yeah you just you snap it in half and then it makes like a pop and then the beads actually start to get cold. Then, this is my favorite. These are witch hazel pads. So you like, they almost look like round, they're like round. I'll take one out. I'm running out. I wanted to ask for another one of these, but I thought that would be a little bit much. And you just line these in your underwear and it's, it's just a, cooling sensation and it feels really good also this little squirt bottle of water so you just squirt it up and it rinses you out um this was really good that first day um like well, that first day right after i gave birth um this was like a mini shower for me so i like that i really like this but i actually have two because this is what this was the one that they gave me at the hospital like to use and then when they packed my bag this one was inside there so or when they gave me the goodie bag this one was in there so i ended up with two of those um and then this is the spray that they give you for the stitches and this honestly it it burns but um you just shake it and spray so it's called benzocaine it's a topical anesthetic spray And then, I don't know what this is. I didn't use these. Okay, so these are just like, okay, oh, right, okay. So this is probably like um, just a, a panty liner, which, or I'm guessing. I don't know. I haven't used this yet. Um, they didn't give this to me at the hospital. This was just in the bag. So I'm guessing that's what it is. Um, but like I said, my, I don't have a heavy flow, so this might be good to use for that. And I have a ton of them actually. And then also you get these pads as well for when your flow starts to decline. So I've been using these lately. Maybe I'll switch over to the blue ones. Um, and they gave me quite a few of these I've used, I've been using them. So this is what I have left. And then just a few more of these as well. So, and then also, I, they gave me one nipple shield and I actually ended up asking for another. And I'm glad that I did because I ended up having to open this one yesterday because the first one is getting a little flimsy and it's not really adhering to my nipple. Um, but this, this is what I was telling you guys about. It's really uh, an amazing invention. It looks like this I can show you the actual one however I just fed her and I don't think I don't think I rinsed it but most of us are women here so I guess it should be fine I showed you guys pads and everything else but it looks like this and then actually that one's worse yeah so it looks like this and you just first before you put it on you like fold it 
like so, snap it on, and then, and then, and then it just sticks like that, if that makes sense. Yeah, so you would just like pop it on like that, unfold it, and then it sticks to your breast. Hopefully this isn't TMI, but I just thought it was good information. It's stuff that I would have liked to come across it prior to going into into labor. It's just information I would have liked to have. So I figured somebody might benefit from it. Um, but what I was going to say earlier is if I were you, but let me actually, one more thing. This is a little kit that they gave us that this was more for baby. I think I took something out of it. I don't know what, but you get, well, at our hospital, we got two onesies. Oh, one's a short sleeve and then this one's a long sleeve or oh, this is just a shirt actually and then they give you the receiving blanket and I want to say the other item that was in here was probably her beanie as well or actually it tells me here one snuggly blanket yeah one soft warm baby cap one pair of baby booties which I do remember putting those on her one soft baby shirt and one cotton onesie size three to six months. So now, now that I think I've showed you everything, I wanted to say, if I were you, um, try to use what they have in the room first before you start pulling out of your bag. However, we didn't get to get a postpartum room so I was still in a labor and delivery room the whole time. So they had cabinets with all of this stuff in it. I don't know if the postpartum room will have that, um, but if you can use what's in the room and take your stuff to go. Cause like these underwear, I was just going in the cabinet, grabbing these out, grabbing these out. Um, you know, I didn't have no shame. <laughs> and then when I got home, I pulled from my bag. So, and then, like I said, also just don't be afraid to ask. Like I said, they give you one, they gave me one nipple shield. I asked for another because I was like, yeah, if I lose this, I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't know how to latch right now. And so they gave me another, like I said, but then they also give you this case too. So that was really cool. And I felt like there was something else I was supposed to tell you guys. But I can't think. But yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we'll do the, uh, I have to still do the labor and delivery story time video. So that'll be another day. Um, right now, I'm going to pump my, like I said, my milk, my milk supply is going crazy. So I would like to pump real quick. And then I need to get into my word. I've been trying to figure out. A better schedule I feel like I've been really lacking in that area so I'm gonna take some time to do that and <clears throat> we have Bible study in a couple of hours and I think that's everything I don't know what else to say to you guys um, so I'm trying to decide is this goodbye is this the end of the vlog I think this is the end of the vlog because if I say this is the end of the vlog I can get this up for you guys tomorrow and we can get into the story time video. What do you guys think? I think it sounds like a plan. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I know it was choppy. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get into a rhythm. Um, last night was a lot better. I got a whole lot more sleep. I gave her a, a vino calming bath before bed and um, some warm milk and snuggled her real tight in her little snuggle or wrap things and she did really good she did wake up eventually but i got more sleep than i've been getting so i was grateful for that so with that being said you guys as, as far as as long as we begin to get this schedule right then i can get my flow right so just bear with me and then like i said i'll come back and do my labor and delivery story time video and then we'll just get creative we'll get creative from there so thank you again for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, really quickly, because I'm always saying there was something else I wanted to tell you. Something else I wanted to tell you. Okay, I just remembered what it was. Um, now, this might not apply for everyone. It just all depends on your personal labor experience. But one thing I would do differently or 
one thing I would have packed that I did not have was some entertainment. So they did have a TV in there, but it was like a really old fuzzy TV with like old school cable. We didn't have like Netflix or anything like that. So we weren't really watching TV. Um, but what, one thing we was like thinking about is, you know, games. Like we could have brought cards or dominoes or Moncala. He's been asking me to play that with him. So, you know, like if you're not in excruciating pain or anything, just the pastime. We just, we just sat there and talked like you guys saw in the last video. But um, games would have been a really good idea. So if you can think of some, you know, something not too crazy, not a lot of pieces and a lot of movement involved, but um, just like, you know, a deck of cards or like I said, dominoes, that would have been really fun for us. So I just wanted to throw that out there because that was an idea that we, we was like, darn it, like we didn't think about that. So it's one thing I just wanted to share with you guys, but okay, now I'm going to go. Future me here, I completely forgot to share this with you guys, and this is important. I'm pumping, so that's why I'm trying to cover myself. But um, this is like the waist trainer type of thing. I asked for this. They don't give this to you. Um, so just be sure to ask for one of these. They give it to you, I believe, if you're going to do a C-section. But for vaginal births, um, they don't just give this to you. My sister uh, recommended this from a TikTok video that she saw. And they said, just ask for a belly wrap. So this is that. And it's just basically like a waist trainer. And um, so, yeah, if you guys want one of these, ask for it. If not, you don't have to, but it doesn't hurt to ask. If they say no, they say no. But I, I wanted to make sure I got one. So there's that. Bye, guys. Okay. Let us cut this out. So I'm going to do that now. Let me stop. Let me let me cut this out real quick. It's fine. Is this ratchet? Because it's already recording. I'm using this as a camera because this should have been cut out. But anyway, I was hanging on to it. But okay. Just be authentic.